Next up, I want to discuss a story that you may have missed this week. The Curl Oil Sands Project in Northern Alberta, which, like many oil sands projects, is having serious issues with tailings leaks. So for starters, a quick explanation of what tailings are. When oil is separated from sand, there's a lot of water used in that process, and that water is contaminated. The water is then stored in ponds, and the idea is that those ponds are supposed to get treated in order to remove the contamination before releasing it back into the ecosystem. But if you think that's what oil companies are actually doing, you must be new here. Instead, they're just gonna let it sit and create things like bird deterrent systems that blast directed sound or air at birds that try to approach the ponds. But of course, it's perfectly safe, so long as nothing living comes anywhere near it at any time, obviously. And the tailings ponds are leaking. Again, and again, and again, and again. Releasing millions of gallons of contaminated water into the water system which in many cases is disproportionately affecting both the lives and livelihoods of indigenous communities who live in the area. Now, unfortunately, these leaks have been happening for as long as tailing ponds have existed, but in recent years, they've gotten much worse. So the question must be asked, why is it getting worse? So we must ask the question, why is it getting worse? Quite simply, it's the Alberta government and the Alberta Energy Regulator, AER. AER is incredibly cozy with the industry and spends more energy attacking Hollywood movies than they do enforcing energy regulations in Alberta. They've regularly failed to publicize leaks, share results of environmental tests, and have looked the other way in the face of widespread environmental contamination. And the government is right there with them. Brian Jean, when speaking about a spill at the Curl Oil site where nearly 700,000 liters of tailings were released with four times the acceptable contamination level, called it muddy water. This dude is a few classes away from a master's in environmental law. Now he just looks like someone who has an extra basement in his house for where he stores guns and canned food. To make things even worse, just days before the leak, he posted this photo of himself to Twitter, proudly praising the Curl Project. He really is immune to irony. He's left the photo up, too, although I have a suspicion Brian Jean isn't exactly a Twitter pro. Strikes me as more of a taking photos on his iPad sort of dude. But the point here is that Alberta's leadership is failing to protect the government. They've sat by while Northern Alberta increasingly looks like the sad scenes from the Lorax. And now they're sitting by while millions of gallons of contaminated water get sent downstream year after year, with no regard for who gets hurt. So what now? Well, the AFCN is calling for the dissolution of the AER and the formation of a new agency. And that's certainly an interesting idea, but it's hard to imagine Danielle Smith's government coming up with something better. So I think we just have to wait and see. Because the other option is for the federal government to step in, and Danielle Smith is already setting up a jurisdictional fight about environmental regulations, so I doubt Justin Trudeau is going to want to pick another. So in the meantime, speak up, call your MLA, and demand better. Especially if your MLA is Brian Jean. Although you might have to send the message via carrier pigeon. Just tie it to a squirrel.